In the silence before a technological storm, a new kind of war began, not with armies, not with borders, but with silicon, the most valuable battlefield of the 21st century. Huawei never planned to become the center of a global confrontation. It simply built devices, networks, and dreams. But the moment artificial intelligence became the new oil, the new weapon, the new crown jewel of global power, the world chose its enemy. And that enemy was Huawei. Sanctions didn't strike like thunder. They fell slowly at first. Whispers, restrictions, quiet warnings. But in 2019, everything collapsed at once. Partners vanished, suppliers shut their doors, chip designs with years of work behind them suddenly had no way to be manufactured. To the outside world, it looked like the end. Inside Huawei, the hallways felt heavier. People whispered about the future in elevators. Parents wondered if they still had job security. Young engineers felt the fear ripple through the labs like a cold wind. For a moment, even the strongest doubted whether the company could survive a strike this fatal. And then, something changed. Not in the boardrooms, not in the reports, but inside the people. Nobody wanted to watch decades of progress disappear. So instead of giving up, they stayed. They worked, they fought. Huawei made a decision the world never expected. If no one would sell them chips, they would make their own. If no one would give them advanced machines, they would reinvent the process. If the world closed the doors to AI, they would carve their own entrance. Late nights turned into early mornings. Engineers drew transistor placements by hand, refusing to let the lack of Western tools stop them. Every breakthrough felt like climbing a mountain in darkness. Every mistake felt like slipping off its edge. But still, they pushed. And then one day, something impossible happened. A chip emerged from the shadows. A chip built on a seven nanometer process using equipment the world said wasn't capable of it. The Kirin 9000S wasn't just a processor. It was a message. We're not done. But AI was a different beast. Smartphones were one thing, supercomputing another. Artificial intelligence needed monstrous power, and only a few companies controlled that power. NVIDIA, AMD, Intel. Huawei wasn't supposed to be on that list, but Destiny doesn't ask for permission. They resurrected Ascend, their forgotten AI chip division. The Ascend 910 chip was more than silicon. It was defiance, the spark of a new AI ecosystem that didn't need anyone's approval. But Huawei understood something deeper. Hardware is strength, but software is control. So they built their own frameworks, CAN, Mindspore, their own CUDA, their own AI infrastructure, their own universe. Developers across China shifted their models, trained new architectures, rebuilt tools from scratch. The country realized something extraordinary. Even when the world tries to lock you out, you can still rewrite the rule book. Yet with every victory, the pressure grew. In Washington, alarms went off. This wasn't just a company fighting for survival. This looked like a geopolitical awakening. If Huawei could build advanced AI chips without US technology, the balance of power would shift. So the restrictions tightened. New bans, new rules, new attempts to choke innovation. But they were too late. The fire was already lit. Huawei wasn't building chips anymore. They were building momentum. Still, the climb was brutal. Chip yields were low. Production was slower. Every small win cost sleepless nights and sacrifices no one outside the labs would ever see. But progress continued, step by painful step. Imagine the future Huawei sees, a Sen 950, a Sen 960, a Sen 970, AI chips powering supercomputers built entirely within China, clusters of thousands forming AI engines that rival Western systems, domestic memory, domestic servers, domestic infrastructure, a fully self-contained AI ecosystem. Imagine provinces offering energy subsidies, but only for companies using Chinese chips. Imagine cloud giants running on Ascend clusters. Imagine AI models built on Mindspore matching global competitors. This isn't fantasy. This is already happening. And behind it all, people, the most underrated force in this war, engineers who miss birthdays to finish designs, scientists who returned from Silicon Valley because they believed in something bigger than money, students inspired not by fear, but by determination to prove that their country could stand on its own. This tech war isn't just about circuits and machines. It's about purpose, identity, pride, and a refusal to let the world dictate who gets to innovate. Now the world stands at a razor's edge. On one side, a global superpower tightening controls. 
On the other, a nation building a technological wall, brick by silicon brick. And in the middle, Huawei, fighting like a cornered lion, claws sharp, eyes unblinking. The questions now echo louder than ever. Will Huawei's chip empire dominate China's AI future? Will the sanctions backfire, creating the very competitor they hope to stop? Will the next major AI breakthrough come not from Silicon Valley, but from Shenzhen? This is the paradox. Every attempt to stop Huawei made it stronger. Every restriction forced a new innovation. Every blockade pushed China closer to technological independence. The world is entering a future shaped not by diplomacy, but by transistors. And the ones who control the silicon control the story. If you want to keep uncovering the hidden battles behind AI, the secrets behind global tech wars, and the truth behind the devices shaping your future, subscribe, tap the bell, and join this journey. Because this Huawei AI chip war is far from over. And what comes next will change everything.